Opie and Anthony. Ah, we got a grandma, great grandma. She got into a bit of a problem. Oopsie. Do, do we know why? No, I know nothing of this. I know. I didn't feel like reading that story today. <laughs> I know nothing except it ends in goodness. <laughs> you like it. You know, it's it's funny every time. It, I love every when time. tasers are used. Well, I love it. Why don't we just play this and then we... Uh, we'll then we'll, we'll try to yeah. figure out what happened. Yeah, why not? See who was in the wrong here. <laughs> why not? Step back and you're going to be tasered. I dare Step back over there. Put your hands behind your back. Come on, baby. I'm getting back in my car. You're going to be saved. Stop. I'm getting back in my car. No, ma'am. David, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to be tased again. She screams. She did the old lady scream. That's so much great. Grandma. That's fantastic. I'm getting back in my car. No, you're not, dummy. Cops 100% right. Yeah. She just wanted to get back in her car. She was scared. Fuck her. You know what? What'd she do wrong? Do we know? Yeah, she didn't I hope listen. she robbed a bank oh. or something. No, she was, he was trying to give her a speeding ticket, and she would not sign the ticket. She was refusing to sign the ticket. What about she was, states where you got to sign the ticket? She was just in Kauai. She wasn't being cooperative. Well, wait, okay, so she wouldn't sign the ticket. She was going 60 and a 45. Is that true? That's, well, that's no big deal. Look and she this. wouldn't sign the ticket, so then we tased her? Well, she was just being very... She wasn't. She wasn't cooperating with the officer at all. Like he was just asking her to, you know, just to move, be a certain place, and she wouldn't listen to him. And then there was a point where they almost got. They kind of got a little physical because, like, she she was like trying to like walk past him, and he kind of had to like shove her and be like, "No, you're, you're not passing me." Can I, can I uh, play the other side of this though? We're all big fans of the cop. Did he really need a taser to s subdue her? Uh, well, let me see. Let me see. I'm looking at the video of the dash cam now. He opens the door. Cops right makes her every step single time out, in our world. But makes her step out. The little lady. He's saying, "Go over here." He's hunched over a little. He's, he pushes her out of traffic. Now this is a safety issue. Uh, he doesn't want to be standing in traffic. Okay. He's pushing her away, further onto the shoulder. She is just saying, I'm getting back in my car, I'm getting back in my Which car. Which means she has to get back sort of on the highway. Now, he can't start a scuffle with her in the middle of, of the street. He's, by the way, she comes up to his chest. Yes, yes. She's a she little old a lady. Slight little old lady. Uh, but you know something? Uh, they're both in danger over there. He did her a favor. The bottom line is, he's got his taser out already. He pulled his taser out. Because, like, why don't you just turn her around and cuff her? Maybe he wants to do that because uh, he could hurt her cuffing her. Look, see now again, he leads her back, but she she's not cooperating, and she's walking back into traffic. And he keeps pushing her back. And he pushes her back and says, "You stay there." And now he's pointing the taser at her. I'm gonna tase you, Michael Sears from Boston. Uh, you guys, ah, and there she goes. <laughs> you guys are only playing a tiny part of the video. You missed a part where she said, "I'll pay the ticket. Get your shit right." Get your shit. What? I'll pay the ticket. What? Right here in Brainerd? <laughs> you should not pay the matter. ticket. She, she takes the she ticket. She wasn't cooperating to the officer's commands, and she wasn't signing the ticket. It's, 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 there's still a line, though. Wait, was she, he could have just cuffed her and turned her around. That's my He could have, but he didn't. Well, Let's say hi to Kevin in North he's, Carolina. You know, he's a cop. Hi, Kevin. Kevin. What's up? Hey, Kevin. If you, if you watch her from the beginning, she refuses to sign it and says, take me to jail, so he tells her to get out of the car. And then... uh she at one point she actually says, "I dare you to tase me." I think she says it twice. Doesn't matter. Oh, she's in the fuck. She's, it, it doesn't right. matter. He's good still thing, not in danger. Good thing she didn't say, "I dare you to shoot me." <laughs> or fuck me well, in the mouth and ass. <laughs> <laughs> the cop is so much bigger than yeah. her, and that's why I'm wondering: Did he really need to use the taser? This is look. He, what what was but, he going to do though? He probably would could have done more damage to her, scuffling with her. Uh, breaking a bone, exactly. throwing her on the ground, than than uh, tasing her, turning uh, her around. As big as he is, this is my thing. If he should, uh, I'm not saying he shouldn't have cuffed the old bitch, 
but just turn her around as big as you are and put the cuffs on her. She starts, look at what she does. He puts his, her arm behind her back. She spins out of it and goes to walk oh. back to her car. And she's walking into traffic now. So he shoves her back onto the shoulder, points the taser, and goes, I'm going to tase you. And she continues to try to walk. Ah, fuck her. And there, fuck, right. the, fuck her in the ass. Well, and he even, he even waits until he's got her off the shoulder onto the grass before yeah. he hits her with the taser. He would have done a lot more damage if he had tried to take her down. Yeah, okay. If you take her down, you know, the old graham cracker bones are going to uh, uh, right. bust apart. Cops are right again? Yeah, she wasn't. Right. You know what, right though? Right again? She, why should she fucking get away with that? It's like there's no reason. As I'm watching it, when a cop says stop right Comply. there, you should not walk by him and say, I'm getting in my car, Sonny. Right. Comply. And, and you'll be fine. If you just fucking comply, if you don't have anything illegal, you're not doing anything, just fucking comply. I get it's pulled only. over constantly. I am a fucking, I'm notorious when I, I drive. I, I I get pulled over constantly. And I fucking do everything they tell me to do. I pull over nice, right away, in a safe spot, flip the lights on so they can come up to that window and see everything nice and clearly. No, no fucking hassle. Give them the shit they ask for. That's what you do. Really? Right. Yeah. I put my right hand uh, way down low. Do you? And I turn the music up really loud, preferably a rap station. The best thing to do is keep the windows rolled up and then reach like you put something under your seat or you're grabbing something from under your seat, right? And then when he comes up, uh, it's best to fling the door open and... and Throw your arms out the car real fast, Adam. Tell them a joke, too. They like a joke. Like, I'll go, you ready to take your last breath, flat foot? <laughs> flat, flat foot. That's a good one. Yeah, I just joke with them. They know I'm kidding. They laugh like you. You want to hear the tasing they again? Laugh. More than anything. Yeah, let me hear that. Hey, uh, Kevin, is it, is it tasing or tasering? Uh, tasing. Tasing. All right. Yes, that, sir. Thank, thank you, you Kevin. Bye, sweetie. Once again, cops are right. See? Yes. Step back and you're going to be tased. Step back over there. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm getting back in my car. You're gonna be paid. Stop. I'm getting back in my car. No, ma'am. Baby, get on the ground. Get on the ground. not uh, obey. No, she did not. Protocol. You better get your head and your ass wired together or I will take a giant shit on you. <laughs> yeah, what a did. threat. <laughs> I will take a giant shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? Like, that, like when, you're, when a commanding officer is going to take a <laughs> giant shit on you. Or I will take a giant shit on you. He only probably does take big shits. Oh, giant. Old school marine and nom. Do you chant? Eats unhealthy. Do you chance it, though? What? Giant shit? Yeah. Without wiring your head yeah. and asking. Do you chance it? Yeah. I think I would chance it. Thinking like you can't, you know, get the He's shit He's not going to be able to work up a spot. giant shit. Keith in Missouri. Hey, Keith. Hey. I, uh, I'm a former cop, and there's like a ladder that they teach you in the academy. It's a use of force ladder. And pepper spray and tasers come before wrestling. Okay. Yeah. You know, if, first you use verbal. Then it's wide open hand. Then it's pepper spray and tasers. Yeah. Then, then wrestling. Then baton and then pop your weapon. Why didn't he use a uh, pepper spray? Uh, the weapon of choice these days is tasers. The weapon every, of choice. Every, everybody carries a taser these days. Yeah, he'd probably kill her with pepper spray. Why didn't he just fucking I, a, a nightsticker in the throat? That works too. To all our cop friends, enjoy enjoy the taser because you know they're going to take it out of your hands eventually. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah. Back you, to you deadly know. physical force. But you know they're going to. 
There'll be yeah, some well. kind of lawsuit or some fucking case, and next thing you know, they're going to, you know. Oh, they already have. Oh, there's they've already, already, already plenty of lawsuits, yeah. But, no, I understand that, but one in particular. Something's going to happen where all of a sudden they're like, all right, we can't use the taser anymore. But you know what? That probably is safer Bullshit. than wrestling under the ground. You're of not course. I, I, you know what? I, Anthony turned me on that. Mm. He did. I said yeah. that, too. No, you didn't. No. No, you're too busy counting calories, Jim. I'm pretzel rod is sixty. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I told you. <laughs> oh yeah. I couldn't believe it. Why? One one pretzel rod? Sixty fucking calories. That's impossible. Man, it does that sound wrong. Oh Ope. Maybe it's as big as a baseball bat. That's the problem. Oh Gregorio. Let's uh well this guy doesn't agree with tasing. Bonehead in Iowa. Bonehead, did you see the video? Because that's what turned me, because I was like, what great grandmother getting fucking tased and yeah. the cops a lot bigger, he couldn't handle the situation. Then uh Aunt pointed out some stuff on the video that made sense to me. Hi guys, love you, love the show. Hey, Hi, sir. Jimmy. Hello, buddy. What do you No, mean? I just don't agree with that tasing, man. She's seventy two years old. This guy had nothing better to do but pull her over for speeding. Nothing better to do. No, that, first of all, oh, that's, fuck her. She was that's speeding. His, that's his job. Uh it's yeah, his... don't get mad, Ann, I know, but but you know, she might have been on meds. She might have had a bad hit. You need to sit Too out bad. Show. Stay home. Have a peach. Don't drive. <laughs> yeah, I hear <laughs> Eat celery, you oh, fucking twat. Stop endangering everybody with your fucking diabetes, fucking fat you're gout right, foot. You're right, Jimmy. You're right. But these guys like to play with their toys. I mean, you can't handle an old lady. Give it no, up. no, no. But the thing is, to handle her, she was being belligerent and pulling away yeah, from him. Yeah. He could have body slammed this bitch. Yeah. The reason he probably tased her is because he didn't want to body slam an old lady. Like that, that looks bad. If you got to wrestle her to the ground, you're probably gonna break her shoulder and arm. Yeah, it's actually the the best way to put her onto the ground is to taser. I hear you guys. I she is a know. citizen too. If she doesn't uh, listen, she has to be punished. Yes. Yeah, like, come on. Maybe even oh, raped. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like searching old ladies in airports, guys. All okay. right. Well, Uppity grandma. I agree with that. All right. Punch it out. Punch hey, Jimmy, how many pounds do you lose from a good tasing? Mm. I don't know. I imagine it depends on how much shit flies out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never used a taser, used physical force, retired cop. Let's say hi mm. to JD in Fort Worth. We don't take many. Let's say hi to Nick from Nolte Fort from Worth. QA. Nick? <laughs> <laughs> JD. Yeah, we, uh, we used to, I'm back, I mean, I haven't been a cop in a long time, but, you know, you take your class ring and thump them in the head. That didn't work. You use your flashlight or your stick, and then you shoot him. <laughs> All right, close so to JD. No, the taser shit. A bunch of pussies out there. Bunch of pussies. See, this That's guy. What they give you a big old uh, flashlight with diesel batteries for. That was the big, uh, yeah, the, in the old days, you had that big mag light. Oh, now they got the little lights with the, um, yeah, like the neural, lights and the with the neural serrated and... uh, edge, so you could just pop people in the nose with that fucking thing and take their face off. What do you take? All the fairy sprays and tasers. Fairy and sprays. Faggot lights and, you know, you just give yourself a big diesel battery light and a stick and you can go to work. Would you take one hit from a big flashlight from a cop? No. Oh. Where? Can you just imagine what that That's like? That's why they would Ugh. come to the window and hold it way up by the light part. Because they would shine it in your face and then if they had to, with flick of the wrist and you got fucking 5D batteries over your head. Fuck that. <laughs> Or you take your class ring and turn it over, and if they don't comply, you just thump them on the forehead. It gets your attention real quick. You get like a whack. <laughs> That's oh. funny. Holy I used shit. to call my rem I used to call my reminder. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a scream. He's old school. He's he's telling the truth. Y'all take though. care. Thank you, JD. Right. Jesus. <laughs> uh, let me say hi to Jim in North Carolina. Man, North Carolina is a hot spot. For C Cigars Anthony. and Scotch is telling Jimmy flesh rods are calorie free, so you could eat those. <laughs> I know. As long as you don't swallow, yes, the goodness. Yes, A lot of uh, sodium, high sodium content. Hey, Jim, you ever play North Carolina? Yeah, man. I don't know no, no, I... hold on. Not you, Jim. <laughs> yeah, my I man. have in my career. I don't think in many years. Seems like we got a lot of fans down there. I absolutely Ooh. would do that. In North Carolina wow, in they're showing, uh, sorry, what, what, what They're happened? showing the Air France what? possible the way it was... Oh, but the big graphic. The uh, fucking the graphic <laughs> on these assholes at MSNBC. Move your graphic. God, what dickheads. Even I know to pull the graphic when something good is happening what a in bunch the lower of third. Fucking news hack douchebags. Us, I mean. Yes. Goddamn. What did you do? You spill? Goddamn blueberries all over the floor. <laughs> you knocked your blueberries over doing wheeling. your... <laughs> My chair is just wheeling over them. There's uh. blueberries everywhere. God. Oh boy, that, Go ahead, Jim. I that animation doesn't look good. Just showing that. Yeah, we got a, we got a around. Her grandma, her daughter, and her granddaughter. 
And, you know, we're trying to arrest her son, and she said, you know, you ain't going to come get my son, all this, that, and the other. Um, we ended up arresting the grandma, the, the daughter, and the granddaughter, and the grandma kicked the windows out of the car. Really? You know, I mean, you, you can't underestimate these grandparents. I mean, nah. And you can't, you know, by the time you get there, you got an audience, and you can't just choke slam or nothing like you want to do. <laughs> you know, I agree with Jim. Old person strength is a bizarre thing. Does anyone know how to explain that? These old people don't work out. But if you ever get into a confrontation with an old person, not saying I did, but maybe I did, uh, their strength is pretty impressive. Why? Is it the ligaments? But they can't they start take getting a punch stronger? at that age. No, they can't. If they're fighting for their life with every movement. <laughs> That's true. That'll make you fight harder. <laughs> And you got video cameras coming out there, so you can't do really what you want to do. Yes, but what is up with Kenny's old people nodding. strength? <laughs> old people strength, Kenny, what's that about? Mm. Oh, take your time. Kenny's waltzing to the Don't microphone. Him, <laughs> Waltz. And his casual wear. What happened to your tie and suit? You're sweating. It's too hot out there. They're cheap with the air conditioning. Oh, no. With the air conditioning? Yeah. That's uh, it, that's huh? That's never yeah. a good sign when the company turns off the turns air off conditioning. The AC. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And, and there must be a misconception because I treat people the way I like to be treated. Like lurch. <laughs> really? You like being beaten about the head? <laughs> uh, uh. Would you uh, get tased for the radio? Yes. You would? I would. Uh, yes, I would. I would like to say I would, but Scary. no fucking way. That old lady fucking lived through it. I'll live through it. I don't want to go, Wah! you know, you get stiff enough and fall down. You look silly. You Good make deal. funny noises. Would you, get, would you get pepper sprayed for the show? Um, Yeah. No, come on, Jimmy. Why not? Yeah. You live through it, dude. You would really do it? Why not? I want to try it anyway. Just see what it's like. What would management say? say. Ask no. uh, Steve to ask management. Yep. I want to see if... Uh, no, say I want to be shot. We could tase Jimmy or pepper spray him. And hit with both. a bat. And then when they say no, say, how about tase? They're like, all right. Fuck I don't that. think they'll say all right to anything. If I sign my life away, they might. anything. Nah. There's no way they would allow that. Why? Well, they don't give a fuck about me. David Carradine, everybody. Oh. This story gets here. better and better. He's, He's here? here? He's where? Here. Where? I don't smell him. Oh. He's dead. Carradine photo reveals fishnet stocking. So the, that picture that a bunch of us were privy to yes. that was on the Internet, I think it's pretty much getting wiped off the face of the Internet. Uh, the, I, a lot of people said that can't be him because the hair is dark and yep. it looks like, what, what did we say? They looked like, like the, blood was, uh, you know, pooling in his legs and kind of uh, made him darker. Right. But it turns out those were fishnet stockings and he was wearing a wig. We've just seen a high-resolution image. This is from TMZ. They get the credit today of the photo that appears to be David Carradine's body hanging in his hotel room. And it shows what seems consistent with an auto-erotica uh, scenario, at least from outward appearances. The photo published by a Thai tabloid shows a body suspended from a bar in a closet with his hands bound together above his head. Carradine's genitals were also tied. There, was, there had to be someone else in this room. There had to be. Are they starting to talk about that anywhere? He was probably into Was he think he was in a Who being... tied his hands like they that? They said you the surveillance camera like didn't show anybody coming or going from the room, though. Wow. But then Which again, the next wife said he came up with these crazy contraptions, so maybe he figured out how to do that. How to tie himself. Oh, uh, man, you know what? Maybe he would jerk himself off with the rope with his hands. Maybe he would be, have his hands held above his head and have the rope to his dick and then jerk that way. Maybe he could come that way. <laughs> like pulling on the rope? Pull this thing! Pull this thing. I don't know. But the new sharper image also reveals what appears to be fishnet stockings covering the body. You can also see red women's lingerie in the bed, and it appears. So he decided not to wear the. <laughs> the yeah, he <laughs> laid everything out and, and just said, went, "You know what? Yeah. I'm not feeling the the red lingerie today." And it appears Carradine may have been wearing a dark wig. Mm. Why the dark wig? Unless you're maybe doing he didn't want to be recognized. Else. If he died. No, if, if there was somebody else there, maybe he didn't want to be recognized. There had to oh. be someone else in the There had room. to be. Come on. There had to be. Come on now. Although there are signs this could have been a sexual act that turned accidentally deadly, family sources say they are still suspicious <laughs> of the circumstances and, and have not ruled out uh, homicide. Come on. I'm saying he uh, was a little, he was a naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the, the hands tied over that... Um, over that rod in the closet, that's... not his rod, the other one, <laughs> the one that put hangers on. <laughs> uh, that's a little, well, that's a little weird. A little odd? Yes. Yeah, and our, uh, well, he's not our pal. We talked to him once. Baden? 
Oh, Michael yes. Biden, yes. Like ghoul. Is it Biden or... Michael Biden, he is Biden. actually my pal. They're saying it's going to be auto-erotica. <laughs> auto-erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> yep. Right. Yeah. Print, someone close to him is saying that's what it's going to be. Choked. Uh, let's go to Gregory in New Hampshire. Gregory. Hello, how are you? Hi. Yeah, I used to work at a, the state hospital, the mental ward, and uh, I periodically have to uh, subdue and wrestle, and the worst was the old ladies. Really? They got strength. Oh, I don't know what it is. And they screamed. Stop it! You, you, you swear like to God they have four arms. Yeah. Someone is suggesting it's rigor mortis. That's where they're getting <laughs> their strength from. You smack Chris it with Kenny, their Fairfax, huh? Fucking smack it with their big, <laughs> big tit, <laughs> fucking sweat sock full of sand tits. <laughs> it's yeah, they, like they, nunchucks. They, they appreciated me because I I wouldn't get upset when I had to wrestle with the uh, with the uh, residents, but um, the little old ladies were uh, they were very dangerous. All right, thank mm. you, sir. Worked in a mental. Maury's got the worst celebrity lookalikes on his show today. They're horrendous. Yeah. What is Maury doing? Some of these people, he's doing this whole celebrity lookalike thing, and a lot of the people come out and and they have to make this certain face to look like to look celebrity. like the celebrity. And the second they smile or anything, and they always look like a retarded version of the celebrity. <laughs> Who is that supposed to be? Uh. Beyonce. Is that Beyonce? Beyonce. Looks like a it's man. It's just a good Halloween costume. Like Beyonce. You go to a Halloween party, some of these people look like the celebrity. That's all these celebrity lookalikes do. So yeah. It's a good Halloween costume. Uh, Mike in Munaki. Uh-oh. Oh. Do, you, do you know Pat? Uh, yeah, actually, I live in the same place. No <laughs> way. Trailer Park. Yeah. Not in the same street. I'm on the other all side. All right. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. obsessed with Pat and where he lives. Get he's on with this. He's just trying to get oh, a little okay. GPS action oh, okay. on where he is. I apologize. <laughs> what do you got, Mike? Uh, anyway, uh, with Carradine, you guys are so you're concerned about him getting off on being touched by his dick. Well, sometimes just the rope around it enough can uh, get you to come without really rubbing against anything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it happens. How do you know that? Because uh, it happens to me. You know, I'm, I love bondage and that type of stuff, and... It's really easy to come without even doing a thing. Without touching you're really it? really into it. Without touch? Without touching it. Without touch. Hmm. But the rope helps a little bit, so that's enough. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, you can do it. I'm if so you're distracted. Into it, into it, you can do it. Why? Why? Because, because now they're taking people's, like, um, girlfriends or husbands, wives, and making them over as celebrities. So this slob is supposed to be Britney. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't look like Britney. No. <laughs> Jesus. That is really bad. Maury, what are you doing? And then they'll, yeah, they... <laughs> What's Jesus Maury God. doing? Jesus. Doesn't, that, doesn't she look great? <laughs> she looks just like Britney. She looks more like Aries Spears. <laughs> 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 when we return... Shut up. sucked to hear the Opie and anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio online on your phone or tablet or even on demand go to SiriusXM.com. also interact with the Opie and anthony show on twitter at Opie radio at anthony cumia and at jim norton